So we got lots of stuff that we want to do for sure. I know Adam, you've been working on weaponsmithing. You were he gave me this uh we decided because we haven't done this before to go with staffs and uh mm -hmm. oh my god two people did uh the weekly mystery face at the same time yeah they kind of cancel <laughs> each other out so i'm going to turn that on for both of you twice um yeah it's yeah. not a perfect system unfortunately yeah we we have to watch out with that um anyway what was I about to say? Thank, thank you, thank you for that laugh, Chez. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I gotta watch out for the antlers. I know I, I could, I could damage some things. So we decided to go with staffs this mm. time. Um, so you, you went and you, and you made us a staff. I think to like twenty-five or twenty-six quality. Yeah, right. we made a really important discovery that staffs are awesome. <laughs> like, they are just awesome. Uh, I, I don't yeah. know why we never knew this before, but they are fast swinging, hard hitting, and yeah, they're just great weapons. Yeah, so, and, and we what we know is that silver weapons will damage... Uh, I don't think is it all animals or some animals no, let me just turn this on for you guys it's, one more time it's that silver weapons get a 10 percent bonus to damage to hunter mobs which are any any mob that would attack other mobs so like for example we know that bears will yeah. if they get hungry hunter will will attack you know deer and sheep and stuff and kill them um so bears Wolves. What else is a hunter mob? Crocodiles. Those types of things. Yeah, now, there is and, a and... there is a downside to silver weapons, and that is there is a slight, very slight nerf to parry chance. I think it's two point five percent nerf, but not worth enough based on the other benefits. I'm assuming. I yeah, know. I mean, like, I don't know. I I think it's worth it to test it out and see how it goes. Yeah. That's the problem, though, and especially okay, so Catsper. Yeah, I noticed that you had a silver staff as well, and you were enjoying it. And um, and with and Serene, your question here, it's like, so would would we say staff is better than spear? You always wanted a spear. Um, the problem, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is that they did. Somebody mentioned one of the devs mentioned at some point that they changed. They changed the way that the weapons work on the new servers. Is this is this right? Right. Somebody. Thank you so much that. for the follow stash. Uh, Can't remember. I have to find the state that. to the point where like, oh, it's only on PvP. They didn't change the PvE servers. I thought that they were going to like mix things up a little bit, and they didn't want to say anything to anybody on what exactly they did. Uh, but either way, you know, if you want a spear, we're on PvE. If you want to play with a spear. Serene. Just play with a spear. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Like, if uh, we never used spears before, but um, I think pretty much every weapon is decent. You know, like some have slight advantages over others. Um, I always use la large maul. Um, I know it's not the best meta type thing to use, but. I always liked it, you know, like it did a lot of damage and, and that sort of stuff. But <clears throat> really, I don't think that there's a wrong choice when you're just on, you know, playing PVE. Right. To be honest. That's right. Yeah. It, there, there is no wrong choice. Just whatever you think is fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and McCooper says, huge axe is great once you have high skill and high body strength. And... and Totally. Like I, I hear huge axe is like one of the better um, weapons, but I think when it comes down to it, if you have high skill and a high weapon quality, uh, you know, a two hander weapon, there's like going to be maybe a slight difference between the weapons, but it's not going to be so it's not going to be a difference enough that, it, you know, I don't yeah, know. You're not, we're playing worm. You're not yeah. <laughs> going to sit there and like, as long as you have high skill, you're going to kill whatever you're trying to fight at high 
skill level and high uh, weapon quality level. Um, you could go into the whole meta type thing, but where you're um, trying to maximize the damage that you're doing to a particular uh, mob, but you don't have to. <laughs> you're not going to die once you get to that point in the game. Right. So, and Antir, the sickles uh, are weaponsmithing as well. So I think anything that imps like blacksmithing, those won't be as effective as for weapons. They, they added some kind of combat penalty to using things that are not weapons. Um, so, yeah. But, I mean, considering from where we started, hey, Amethyst, how you doing? Where we started in 2012 versus where we are now, like, there's so many more armor types because of the different types of metals that you can use to build armors. There's so many different weapon types because like the whole system of like silver, silver wasn't even an option when we started. Uh, right. I can't remember when that came in. You know, <clears throat> can't believe, don't remember how long ago that was, but yeah, it was a couple years ago. They added it. They made it so that any item can be made. Any metal item can be made by any metal type. And then uh, they gave opened them up each properties. And they gave them each properties. Yeah, it opened up the game a lot. Ooh, nice. You can tell because so of all Aussie the little... So Aussie Bogus was mentioned, what's the best weapon to use? Huge Axe Staff? So I guess you just you missed the beginning of our chat here. Yes, but yes. maybe you can just summarize that. I know you, Jelly Kid, were saying, you know, best weapon is is uh, is circum circumstantial or just really... Yeah, you can tell here for people, maybe new players, this indicates that it's uh, Maple Season. They've yeah, they, they using... added graphics on all of the trees when they're in season so you can tell just by visually looking at them like it used to be that in order to tell you had to inspect the tree yeah or you had to know based on the almanac which is another thing that they added nobody the has talked about yeah we should start doing almanac stuff but yeah on a pbe server so Aussie, yeah, back to the weapon you know pick the weapon that you want to use and just level it up. No matter which weapon you use, you'll be able to level it up and be be proficient to kill any of the uh, normal wilderness mobs that are around. So you, you mm. don't really have to worry about it. You know, there, there's something to be said about about choosing the weapon that you find uh, fun, and not have to worry about you know going towards a particular type of weapon because of some sort of chance or better damage thing. Like, this game's not exactly 100% a combat game, so you don't really have to worry. The, I like, believe this was the deed that we found, that I found. Uh, oh, yes, this was the deed, yes. There are the some, weapon. like, Look at how different advantages with some weapons over other weapons, um, but at best, they are slight, slight advantages. So... I think it's it's safe to say that you should pick the weapon that you like feel passionately about over the one that might give you that slight 1% edge over the other one. Because really, like and as Makufer was saying earlier, it's like, like if you Look want to min-max things, you kind of have to have one of every type of weapon so that, you know, based on the circumstance that you're faced with, you'll pull out the right weapon for that circumstance. And you could See, do this that. This guy lays out breakfast on his perimeter see i tell you i know like why a fresh batch of breakfast 50 quality now yeah i'm that's going awesome. to thank you very much i'm going to take a few <laughs> sure i yeah 10 yeah put them because when you're doing that grinding that hot food cooking grinding grinding you get so many more meals than you ever possibly could eat and they're going to decay before you eat them Let's take a look so, at what I'm going to get here. So I'm going to start yeah. eating because I've got about 60%. Yeah, food. the meat in the pan, then the bowl. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> and you can use sickle for fighting Reba. You have a lower parry rate. Um, yeah. So yeah, like like there's always trade-offs and uh, some will be better at some things, but less at other things. If, if, <laughs> if you're doing, if you want raw damage, like that's all you care about, um, then I, I suggest the, the two-handed axe. 
That one does a good amount of damage, but it has low parry <laughs> and low defensive capabilities. So 